Everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another maybe weekend in my life maybe week in my life today is thursday but everybody knows that the weekend really starts on thursday so i'm starting this weekend here if you're new to my channel my name is emory i just graduated from the university of tennessee and i make fashion beauty lifestyle the huge videos here on youtube so if you enjoy this video take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Also give this video a like if you feel so inclined and leave a comment. You guys know how much I love getting comments so thank you in advance. It is like seven or eight right now but my family is getting ready to go to this new food truck park and I'm really excited because I love food trucks. I'm wearing my new Hot Wheels shirt that I showed in my haul from my first vlog back. Or no there it's on that side and then i'm wearing this skirt it looks more purple on camera but it's more pink from Paxun. and i'm wearing these sandals from zara they're kind of chunky kind of cute and i'm also wearing this hat that i've had as long as i can remember like this was back from the preppy days it's got a little black lab on it and it's blue she cute for jewelry i'm wearing this sugar fix for target ring and then just some random bracelets i never actually wear bracelets because as you can tell from the pearl one they don't fit me at all so i'm actually amazed that i found two others hey vlog <laughs> we're with ice and mom and t money and we're off to 35 degrees north oh for an outdoor meal yeah Is on a mission. Thank you. Oh, oh. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Anne is a pickleball expert, and she's also basically an OV rep at this point. Hey guys, use my code. Actually, I don't have one. I have to say, I wish you had a code. And we're gonna do a little 20 outfit. She's gonna teach me how to play pickleball today. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. This and is a navy one. <laughs> Unpopped. Oh, don't shoot. Out. Actually, we're authentic okay. here. We're gonna show our messes. Cause, you know what? <clears throat> Let me read this for you really quick. Um. Um. Oh, 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 here it is, here it is. You don't need to unburden or collect yourself and then come to Jesus. Your very burden is what qualifies you to come. No payment is required. He says, I will give you rest. His rest is a gift, not transaction. So we're qualified. Anyway, this is the court squirt in the color. <clears throat> Actually, I, you should be really proud I got this one on Poshmark. So I don't know what color it is. No. We are taking some tomatoes to Ben's parents as a nice surprise because we have so many, but I've been wanting to take them some for a while. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go pickleball it out. Is there any like pickle lingo? Yeah, I do like. Pickle like... it out. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I say, I want to play pickle. You want to go pickle, bro? You want to go pee-pee? Yeah, Let's go pee-pee. But I know I Let's get go scared pickle some ball. Not around people who do play pickleball, because I'm like, what if they think I'm dumb? But I don't care. And then another grande, um, like the lemonade iced matcha. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can definitely do that. <laughs> Sorry, check me a second. I got the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich, which has been my favorite for a while, and an iced matcha latte. Ooh, look at the vibes. Ow, ow! And I got the grande matcha latte. The matcha grande latte. matcha latte. So vibes have been acquired, and now we are going to go vibe even more. Did I say matcha latte? Yeah. Matcha lemonade. Our morning routine is I wake up and then I just start vibing. Then I vibe for a little bit and I vibe My vibe right now is just living life. And then um, I go to bed. Okay, so we are literally in Ben's parents' driveway and Anne was like, I think you're losing air. I guess I picked up a rock or nail or something, but my tire is literally rapidly losing air. So we're gonna go straight to the tire store. They think they can patch it instead of having to replace the tire, which is good, but I have to wait here. Um, the absolute vibes of the tire shop are unparalleled. Right now. 
And they're putting pictures over this. Wow, 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 wow. Bing! 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 We have a serious conference call. Wow. Oh my goodness. I need a black balloon thing to move up. Those hit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Taco Bell check! Hey yo, is that just to cover your face perfectly? Cute. Goodbye. We've been rescued. Thank you. So anyway, we thought, I guess, did I tell them the story? No, I was about to show you some vlog. I should, okay, I didn't even, they thought they were gonna be able to patch it. They're like, oh yeah, it looks pretty easy. But apparently they said there were two puncture holes. And like they say, sometimes the nail will like bend back. <laughs> <laughs> but they like, they showed me the nail and it was still straight. The guy that worked there said, I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. And I was like, Great. And Leave I know it to Emory for that to happen. Yeah, I know. Well, as we were getting there, I was saying this is kind of nice because I've never had a puncture that's been able to be patched before. Like I've always just had to buy a new tire. And then I was like, I knew I got my hopes up. So I got a new tire. It was ridiculously expensive for one tire. And it's not gonna get here till Monday. And today is Friday. So it's sitting there all alone, sad in the garage all weekend. Pickleball vibes are officially occurring. Oh <laughs> that I ordered from My Green Gallery on Etsy got here today and um, I've never ordered a plant online. So I wanna do an unboxing just to see how it comes out of the box. I don't know how long this was sitting in our mailbox and it was so hot today. So I hope it's not like completely dead from the heat. Okay, cute, very well wrapped. I love shopping from like individual sellers on Etsy. I don't know, they're always just so sweet. Like they always send thank you cards and like wrap it so cute. Okay, here she is. It is a Pothos Enjoy. So it's a Pothos, which is the same as that plant right there. Like one of the like long trailing vine ones. The lighting's a little warm, but it basically has like white spots. You know, it looks a little dried out, but hopefully nothing we can't save. Dinner tonight is very summery. We've got grilled chicken, peaches, a nice spinach, feta, blueberry salad salad and corn on the cob. Corn. 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 I honestly think that I need to go to speech therapy. I realize how many things I mess up when I'm trying to talk. Like sometimes I have a lisp, sometimes I just can't say things right. Sometimes. Corn. It's great. Yeah, I make fun of it. Target has been absolutely on it with all of the sweatshirts and stuff. But they're offering like this whole sweat section. I just want to know in what world is this a high rise? It says high rise straight and they're honestly still skinny. I've been wanting to get a new bath mat for the area in front of my sink in my bathroom because I only have smaller ones like this which is actually way bigger than even normal bath mats but I saw they have these runners. I'm kind of stuck because I love this one's color. It's like a lot lighter in person. Really pretty periwinkle blue and then I thought I didn't like this one but I unrolled it like just to see the size and I'm actually surprised by how much I like the color. I might try it out and then return it if I don't like it, but it's so, so soft. Hello everybody again. It's like eight-ish and I'm going to meet up with Joelle and Isabel again because that's our little squad, but also because tomorrow is Isabel's last day here. I've seen her what, like three times since she's been here, but I'm sad that she's leaving and honestly, I'm like exhausted. I don't really feel like going out and being social, but I can't say no and I really want to see her. So I think we're just gonna go downtown, get a dessert maybe, but I'll show you guys my outfit because I did like the bare minimum cute, but still comfy look. And I actually kind of like how it turned out. I'm wearing this little quarter zip from Urban. It's not too small, like it's very form fitting. And I like all of my clothes to be oversized pretty much, especially like long sleeves because I have stick arms. And I feel like it always kind of looks weird when things are tight on my arms. Actually, I think it looks okay on camera. Anyway, it was on clearance, so I only had one size choice, but I really like the color. And then I'm wearing another quartz skirt. Anne has absolutely put me onto these. Like, I love how that slit is right there, but like, it's just, it, they're so cute and comfy. So this one is navy. I don't know if I already said that. And then I'm wearing my Air Force Ones that were white when I got them. And I painted them to look a little bit like the UNC ones that I love, but they're like, $700 on StockX and um, no. So I made my own and then I've just got my hair in a claw clip because it's dirty. I need to wash it when I get home tonight. And then just these little gold huggy hoops. So yeah, 
Hi, welcome to Chili's again. I promise that Chili's is not our actual like hangout spot. Um, <laughs> well, this is the second time in a vlog recently that I've been to Chili's. I wasn't actually going to vlog this, but I wanted to include that they gave me three things of ranch, and I am an absolute ranch fiend. Mm -hmm. So is Isabel. Big thumbs up for chilies here. Really good. I got the three dippers platter. It's boneless wings, fried pickles, are and these different? are supposed to be like chicken nut the sliders. They're supposed to come on waffles with like a little skewer, oh, yeah. but they Thank just give me chicken, so okay. Oh, do you want me to try to get all the sun shower. It's always so cool when it happens. Hi guys, today is Sunday and I've just been having like the chillest morning ever. It's been great. I've just been doing some laundry, hanging out. My mom and I listened to the church sermon on our back porch. It was great, but yeah, super lazy. But that means I've been getting behind in my vlogging, which is probably a good thing because it means that this video will be shorter. Just to recap, yesterday I really didn't do much at all. I went to Target. The main reason that I went was because I needed a new phone charger cable and I also just wanted to get some snacks. Um, so I guess I'll get right into it. First, wasabi peas. These are like my favorite snacks. They're so good. This Zen trail mix that I showed in my last Target haul and I already ate the whole thing. Flavor blasted goldfish. Probably my favorite snack to this day. Then some tuna creations. They were five for five dollars. So they're only four here because I already ate one for lunch. Then I got some swimsuits. I got rid of like almost all of my swimsuits when I was going through my whole closet earlier this year. And like I said earlier, I don't know if I put it in this vlog, but my family is going to the beach next month. So I was like, mm, I really need to get some bathing suits. And I like couldn't really find any online. So first I found this one. It's just like a little, okay, upside down. How do I? This is always me like actually trying to put bathing suits on too. It's like, how does this go? Okay, just a little triangle. This is a large. And as you can tell, it's very wide. So I wanna see if they have my actual size. I get a medium and tops and small and bottoms, but I wanna see if they have my actual size at like another Target, cause I love this color. And I love how it's not like super scrunched up, but it fits okay. Cause you know, large, it has a bit more coverage, which I'm a-okay with, I feel like, I'm always very uncomfortable in revealing bathing suits. And then matching bottoms, they actually had these in my size. I love the like high hip bathing suit look. Then I got this top, which is probably my favorite style. It's basically just a sports bra. I hate how Target either like doesn't have matching tops and bottoms or they're always different sizes. And I know they can't control that because like people buy different sizes, but like they didn't even have a brown set of bottoms. So I want to find matching ones. And I'm kind of thinking of actually wearing it with these bottoms. This is from the Shade and Shore line. I didn't see a top version of this either, but if they had it, I probably would have really liked it. Then I just got this tank top, again, brown. This was $8. I love their like basics. This is also a large because <laughs> I have a few other colors of these. I think they're all different sizes. First, I started with an extra small, which is what I always buy in clothes from Target, and it was so tight, so I returned it. Got a small, it was still too tight. One I have is a medium, and I think I like how that fits, but they didn't have a medium in this size, so I was like, okay, I'll try a large, and it actually worked. I got these glasses. They're from like the Wild Fable. Like I call it like the TikTok teen section. That makes me sound so old. But even though they're not the most flattering on me, a lot of times I wear sunglasses as like a headband, and I thought they'd be good for that, but I love the color. Like That's so fun. And then last but not least, I got what I was actually going there for in the first place, a charging cable. This is just like a mint green uh, six foot one. I don't know if you can see the one hanging down there. That's four feet. I can't lay in bed on my phone with it. And what am I gonna do without that? Honestly, it's probably a bad thing that I bought this one. Don't really know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Probably just chill out, clean, honestly. Um, still finishing up, reorganizing everything. Oh, I actually really need to wash my hair. I'll show you guys how I style it with the air wrap. So keep watching if you wanna see that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm finally going through the bags of stuff that I've had here. And I found my iPod Nano from probably like 2008. This is my first. Apple product. I was so excited to get it. My dad engraved my name on the back. This one actually still works, which is amazing, but I feel like this is something that would like come back in style now. Ooh, it's always a good day when I get a new pack of my Ritual Vitamins. I promise this isn't sponsored. I just really like them, but I just finished my old bottle and I got a new one. Like what good timing. These are like my absolute favorites because, well, I realized the importance of taking a multivitamin. I'm like, you know what? I should do it. It is good for you. Like if it's not enjoyable, then I'm not gonna do it, which sounds bad. But like I have to have some incentive <laughs> to actually take a vitamin, which is so dumb because my health should be the incentive, whatever. But these are so like minty. 
Like they're literally refreshing. And also I don't like the feeling in your throat when you swallow pills. I think that's a big part of it, but it's always so exciting. They're like very refreshing and honestly kind of aesthetic too. Honestly though, Ritual, if you wanna sponsor me, I know nobody's watching, but I'm a big fan. I decided to treat myself for dinner by ordering Uber Eats from Blaze, my favorite pizza place. I got a build your own with red sauce, mozzarella, parmesan, ricotta, goat cheese, kalamata olives, chopped garlic, arugula, pesto. And I think that's all. And I am literally sitting on the floor in my room and eating. And that is honestly about as good as it gets. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I've got my hair in my little turby twist. I wanna show you guys how I do my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. Again, this is my sister's. I don't have my own. I really want one, but she's nice enough to let me use hers until she goes away to college. It comes in this like velvet roll and it's just like this little stick, which is kind of cool. I usually use the actual hair dryer attachment at first to kind of like dry my hair really quick. And then I take the bigger curling wand and actually like style my hair with those. Just drop the cable on my foot and it comes with two of the same size because the air spins like in different directions So like you switch them out per side. I really only use two products in my hair the Odell leave-in conditioner I got this from Target. I honestly really liked the packaging so I thought I'd try it out, but I've really liked it I feel like a lot of leave-in conditioners are very like goopy but this one is very like light and liquidy and it doesn't really leave residue, but like it still tames the frizz. And then I use the Olaplex bonding oil. My hair is so dry that I always have used some sort of oil in it and it really makes a difference. So actually this is less crazy than it usually looks. I usually just do one pump per side. And then for the Olaplex oil, I do 10 drops on each side. That would be a vibe. Hey guys, we're talking about tie-dyeing when we go to the beach. Doing like a family tie-dye and family tie-dye photos. Sweatsuits. <laughs> that would be so vibe, like sweat shorts. But anyway, I attach the like hair dryer in and then I flip my head upside down to dry it because you know, that gives a little bit more volume. Let's go. Listen to how cool it sounds. Like it's actually not that loud and it's so powerful. Once my hair is about 80% dry, I actually start styling it. This is what my hair usually looks like. How? When I try to blow dry it, I obviously have my hair parted down the middle, but then I make two more sections and I'll usually do like a top and a bottom section. I look a little crazy while I do this. So there are really two ways that I will style my hair. One is just like actually going by section, but then most times, especially if I'm not wanting to take the time, I will literally just take the wand and just like stick it up in my hair repeatedly and it's obviously not as neat but like it gets the job done and it's so easy i make sure that it's going away from my head so like if i hold it up next to my face arrow needs to be pointing that way high heat high power turn it on watch this and then i just do that until my hair is dry and i will brush through it periodically because it can get like so twisted up that it doesn't like curl around properly and it also does get kind of tangly doing it this way switch sides So bottom layer, dry. I'm not gonna brush it out because I wanna let the curls sit just a little bit longer before I kind of loosen them. And now for the top layer, I just take this out. Sometimes I'll flop it over and then like re-twist this one. For the top layer, I'm a bit more precise. This is actually dried out a bit too much. So I'm just gonna like wet my hands and just kind of run it over my hair. And then basically do the same thing, but kind of like just be a bit more specific with pieces. Sometimes I'll accidentally press the release accessory button instead of the off button. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Okay. 
and then once I'm done, it looks a little crazy, but I just go ahead and unpin everything. And here is the finished product. Sometimes I'll leave it like this for a little bit just to let this, the curls set even more. But for the sake of seeing the final finished product, I will go ahead and brush through it for you guys. And ta-da! I feel like a Hollywood celebrity every single time I use this thing. The fact that this takes me maybe, like maybe, 20 minutes and it looks this good. Absolutely worth every penny in my opinion. I feel like it's insane that like the best my hair has ever looked is also like the easiest styling tool. So I love this so much. Hey guys. Hey guys. That's my aunt. Hey guys. We're trying to get aesthetic pictures of my bed because I changed out the pillows with the cat and he's hiding under the bed as they do. There's a duck flying by. This is Anne and Emery's nature vlog. Just shake the tums. He came out. Hi. Boo boo. Okay, these are all so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like eating in them. Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Um, sorry if my mirror is crooked. It keeps getting worse and I need to adjust it, whatever. Anyway, I'm wearing this crop top from Free People that is Anne's that I stole, borrowed. Oh! Outfit of the day! Outfit of the day! Outfit of the day! <laughs> oh, honestly, the amount of pink right now is... Um, you finish yours, then I'll get mine. Okay, girl. And I'm wearing these shorts that I've had forever. <laughs> I don't remember where they're from, but I think, honestly, Target. I've had them for as long as I can remember. And I'm wearing the Zara chunky slides, as always. And I've also got this necklace that I got at a garage sale for 50 cents. It and it matches your shades very well. I know. Then I'm wearing these sunglasses from Amazon. But like I've said before, I pretty much just wear them as a headband. Then for my jewelry, I've got my Casio watch that I wear every single day and the same sugar fix ring. Take it away. So, oh, so for my outfit of the day, I have this um, Casa de Fruta necklace. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm just trying to be a vlogger. Mm -hmm. And then my Jacques Marie necklace, See, use code NAT15 for 15% off. Can I never remember what brands I'm wearing, but I can't even remember like what they're called. Like my shoes, never remember. And Anne's like, don't forget to use the See, I swear she'd be so much better at this than I am. No. Then an athleta top with my Jerf Avenue breezy thing, breezy button up with my Zara jean shorts. Um, they're the best. And then um, KT tape. Yeah. And then Soothies from, I don't really know. Soothies, maybe. Here are fits side by side. And then my lack of color something hat. Our vibes cohesive. And also topping the look off with this very oversized hoodie from, I think it's from Amazon. It's just like the Jilden brand. This is also Anne's, but she's been wearing it a lot and I really vibe with it. I never thought that I would think this is fashionable, but here we are. Horn dog stop. Gas station haul. <laughs> First, I got my Diet Coke. Whenever I have two people in a video, I feel like it's the old times where like while the other person is talking, I'm just like, You're like it really makes me think of Girl Define. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to another Girl Defined video. Today, Today we're talking, we're talking about, about God's purity thoughts. and is a font and that's too swirly, too flirty? What do you think? <laughs> that is a great question. So, well, I... <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, anyway, uh, for anyone Anyways, that didn't click away immediately. That was a good, like... That was a good girl to find impression. I'm a little scared now. Good job. We, I got her corn dog! Oh, thanks, girl! We are gonna <laughs> do a corn dog review. I've never had a corn dog before. It's a hot dog. <laughs> 
and it's wrapped in cornbread. Last time I had a corn dog, I threw up. Anyway, we're gonna go to the nursery now. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember the last time I ate a corn dog. Like, it's been probably more than 10 years. Nah. -uh. Mm -hmm. We, I used to eat them like after swim meets. Don't believe it. So that would have been like 2014. You ever look back and remember you were in the good old days and before you... <laughs> How can they make something like physically edible for 99 cents? Corn. <laughs> we are at the nursery and Vibes are occurring. Uh, we got some really cute Instagram pictures, and now we have to actually go find what I came here for. These are insane. Look so beautiful. They're so pretty. I'm gonna buckle her up. Buckle Ooh, up vibes, the contours, the contrast. She looks beautiful. What should we name the plant? She's a paddle plant, let us know. Let us know. Let us know, guys. Let us know. Just got home. I need to fold my laundry, but I put my plant, my new plant, on my other bedside table. I love how roughly it is. Outfit change number three of the day. I'm just wearing this kind of like grayish black Lululemon tee and these shorts from Target. They're kind of like just linen flowy shorts and they're a little loose even though I got an extra small. That's why I have them rolled and yeah I just wanted to be comfy. Not that what I was wearing wasn't comfy but like I just took a shower because I needed to wash my fake tan off. I mean I'm literally just like folding laundry at home but actually what I need to do now is pot my new plant that I got in the mail and then I need to repot my Hothos that you can't see at all. Okay, operation pot, repot. I've got this little plastic storage bin that I'm going to use to do the job. I think I found this idea on like Pinterest or something, but honestly, genius for indoor repotting. Got my potting mix, got my new plant here. As you can see, she's still wrapped up in like a paper towel. And then I've got this one that I've had for like a year. You can see how crazy it's gotten. And then gloves, of course. 